Hey everybody, welcome into Northern Life. Thank you so much for starting your week with us on this Monday. It's not just any Monday, it's Ryan's birthday today. Oh my yeah. gosh, we're partying, we're having a good time. I walked in and everybody said, okay, we have to leave for a bit. I'm like, okay, well, I, I hope we could do the show now. But <laughs> they went and got this cake. They got this cake that says happy birthday, Ryan. I'm trying it not does. to spill it. You can kind of see it. Maybe Seth can get over there. And then if you can see in the back, I don't want to spill it. You can see happy birthday at the towards oh, the top. Oh, it's slowly sliding. And then in the back, they got me these balloons, which is super nice of them Yay! too. Yay! So how about that? What a good time. What a good start to the day. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. The big 2A. Yeah, look at those. Where's my hand? Look at those balloons. <laughs> I'm looking down, so my hat's not in the way. <laughs> Oh, we got the hats out, so big things. I feel like a shark or something. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. to pop a balloons with your <laughs> phone. Uh, yeah. Uh, but thanks for thanks for the big surprise. Yeah. Guys. Yes. Really nice. You know, you know, you get older, you get older, you get a little wiser, and so it's uh, it's nice to it's nice to celebrate a little bit too on these days. So, big plans for yeah. today, or what? Are your uh, big plans. I think I'm uh, I think I might be doing like a yoga class again tonight, and then maybe heading to Bentleyville. So. Ooh. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Oh. Could be a big day. Big Want to maybe go for a beer after work today oh. or something perhaps? I don't know. Before the yoga class yes. might, be a, might be a problem. Yeah, that's true. That might not work out <laughs> yeah, too well. Yeah, that would be we'll a see. We'll see. We'll do maybe the next day. Yeah, there we go. That's a good plan. A yeah. Tuesday beer. Oh, well, coming up today, we're heading over to Northern Water Smokehouse here in Canal Park as they are now in a new space getting ready for a very busy holiday season. We try out some of their delicious samples and get to chat with, chat with them too about their new cookbook. That's out. A very impressive cookbook. Yeah. Yeah, mm. stunning. It's beautiful, too. And after that, we're welcoming in Natalie Hebner to the Northern Life Studio. That's because our station has announced she is the new co-anchor of Northern News Now Today, our morning <laughs> show. Yes. Congrats, Natalie. So, after that, and so we'll hear what life has been like during those uh, early morning hours, as we're all very aware of uh, how early you need to wake up for that. <laughs> we should have tried to fit Natalie's name on the cake, too. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday and congratulations, Natalie. <laughs> Wait a minute, another look at it. It'll say, <laughs> yeah. say congratulations, Natalie. It was actually for Natalie. Yeah. So yeah, never see, yeah. Oh, it happens to be my birthday. <laughs> hey, but first, I do have to talk about one of the sweet viewers I got to meet in person. It was at Costco oh. the other day. I got to meet Diane here. So Diane came up to me and she stopped me and she goes, I just need you to know, I love your guys' show. Oh, so I was, you know, it was after a long day too. And so I think we, I like stopped and I was like, you're going to make me cry. Oh. You know, That's the like, sweetest thing. You meet such a genuine person and, and you have such a genuine interaction. We talked about life. We talked about all, all sorts of things. So uh, it was very nice to meet you, Diane. And I'll probably be back at Costco soon. She also has seen Briggs Le Savage walking around the old Costco a aisles. A time or two, a time yeah. or two. So I got to get, get a membership, my <laughs> gosh. Know. Because they watched us in the break room before. Like we talked about yeah, that before, we right? About yeah, we before. They Let's do. Go. They're big, uh, Three cheers for Diane. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Going from a, one of my most favorite interactions uh, to something that you all know that uh, I'm not a fan of. Two, two things I'm not a fan of. So Sherry commented on our Facebook with this photo saying, our cats, Willie and Wonka. Great, great names, by the way. That's cute. They are indoor cats, but love to sneak outside. So yes, of course, we got them a pet stroller. Wow, it's I, okay to have a stroller, so according to Ryan, just as long as they're not in the middle of the road and running into yeah. people, you know? <laughs> Heading right towards me. <laughs> it was just so funny because the other day I said, yeah, imagine a cat in a stroller. That'd be my worst nightmare. And, and here so, we have Willie and Wonka. <laughs> there's, 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 Living their best life. <laughs> there's a street in the Northland somewhere where I, I shouldn't be walking down because I'm going to see the cat in the stroller. I didn't even think uh, about the cat part. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's I funny. Uh, wow. So Sherry, thanks for... I'm sure your cats are adorable and I'm I'm sure that stroller is really awesome. So to Willie and Wonka. To Willie and Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. We Cheers have no viewers you. left. <laughs> and Sorry, they everybody. went out the yeah. door. <laughs> no studio audience. Hey, uh, I wanted to share a really cool comment too on my birthday here that just had me thinking and made me feel very thankful. Peter commented on our one of our Facebook posts saying people may take Northern Life, not our show, just the term Northern Life, oh. for granted. <laughs> we are lucky for what we have. We certainly are. Yeah. I mean, especially like I was saying, as we get older, you 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 know what uh, you're very grateful and thankful for I'm grateful for waking up in this beautiful city of Duluth mm -hmm. and the uh, Northland and getting to have viewers like you join us and uh, and to have two uh, awesome co-anchors and co-workers that get to surprise me with lovely gifts and balloons and, yeah, and party yeah. favors so. yeah yeah every yeah. once in a while I just gotta stop and take a look around you and appreciate everything that's going on because yeah. life goes by fast you know you gotta you gotta take time to appreciate the things around you yeah, yeah. and celebrate your co-workers yeah. 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 yeah you're very we're, easy to celebrate oh, yeah. thank you thank you we're in this together 
weather. So we're glad you're here for the ride, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it, too. <laughs> Just for fun. Just for fun. One more before the next one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, speaking of celebrating, as we inch closer to Christmas and prepare for more holiday gatherings, therapists are sharing the most important boundaries to set in order to protect yourself from holiday depletion and frustration. They suggest you should ask or check how much time you're expected to spend with others, as well as figure out the number of family events you're attending. It's also important to give yourself financial and gifting limits and some physical space, too. As for what you shouldn't talk about, don't make comments about your body or the amount of food you're eating. And a pretty obvious one to avoid, don't talk about politics, religion, or even maybe parenting styles or relationship statuses while you're gathering with your loved ones, yeah. too. You know, my older sister, Kelly, this is before she had her kid. Mm -hmm. She is the best at just leaving, you know? Upper Midwesterners are very like, uh, you know, it's like, oh, it's so good to see you. we're all at the door and then it's uh, another 15 minutes. Yep. She's like, no, nope, we're heading home. And I'm like, <laughs> good yeah, for her. Yeah, good. Kelly's so good at that. Yes. Yeah. Well, now with the baby, maybe another excuse to uh, get out of events earlier. That's too. true. That's yeah. true. She's taking courses, I'd love to sign up. <laughs> <laughs> I am one of those people who are like, oh. Well, uh, bye, oh, I, but how is this going for we're, you? Yeah. We're all in our jackets at the door, like, yeah, it's really cool. I mean, lo love family, love friends. Friends, but yeah, we we need we all need to get better, I think, at uh, leaving on time. That's very yeah. true. Yeah. Uh, I also saw a meme on Facebook. I don't know how much time we have, but uh, <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. Uh, that uh, you know, the holiday season it's it's meant to be enjoyed. So if there's yes. something stressful going on, just take a second to think. What? Why is it so stressful? Have fun. Have fun. Have some fun. Have some fun. Oh no, we're going to break. <laughs> <Time's up. laughs> uh, still had a fresh taste of northern waters after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. For 25 years now, Northern Water Smokehouse has been making smoked fish and other tasty slices in Canal Park. Yeah, we were lucky enough to be able to take a trip down the road to learn more about their process. Also hear about what it's like to be in a brand new space with a brand new cookbook as well. <laughs> the best part, look at this. There's napkins wow. there. Yeah, just grab that. And we started smoking fish just for restaurants. And, and other people, and um, but I wanted a shop that we could showcase our stuff, and that was the very beginning. That little shop up up there in the, up the first floor yeah. here, and we quickly outgrew that. And yeah. so it's grown and grown and grown, and we've we've learned how to make salami and deli meat. So we you know we started as a smoked fish and cheese shop, and then we just kind of expanded our food nerdery. <laughs> you know, <laughs> expertise. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of fish places, there's a lot of meat places. Hardly anybody does them all. Really? Like we do smoked fish and we ferment salami. Wow. You know, like that, that's very rare. Most people don't combine them. Candied Atlantic salmon belly. Wow. Ah. We do some Atlantic salmon, uh, we do some Alaskan salmon, and then we also do Lake Superior fish. So, uh, and, and our Lake Superior fish comes from Bayfield primarily. We love the fact that people bring their relatives to our place when they come in. They're, they're proud of it, and we're proud of that. Like before Thanksgiving, tons of people came to get stuff to celebrate with, and, we're, and we talk about that all the time. Like, how cool is that, that people choose our food to celebrate with? We're like at everybody's holiday gathering. <laughs> that would go down fast at a... Uh, holiday gathering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this time of year, it's, we're really busy with people just coming in to get stuff for the holidays and then shipping it out. This time of year, they do hundreds of boxes a day. We primarily, I think, ship to the Midwest, um, but we do have customers all over the country. I love liver pate, and I, that liver pate recipe is top shelf. Sweet. First day, yeah, I feel like Thank you. saltines are the perfect foil for this kind of stuff because they're, they're just crispy and salty and plain. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think our salamis are really cool. It's never been cooked, and that was the way that you preser people preserved meat a thousand years ago before refrigeration. It's pretty neat. It's a beautiful book, too. The writing in there is fantastic. Uh, Mary and Ned and Nick are all great writers, but I think it's a really, it's kind of a cool cultural piece about Duluth, you know, about where we're from. And that's what we've always tried to do with our food and our business is represent Duluth, represent Lake Superior. People that come here and live here love Lake Superior, you know, so we embrace it and we talk about it all the time. Let's let's showcase the lake and our region with our food. Mm. I really like that one. That was really good. One of the main things that we never had before was just space like this. So now we have, you know, uh, 25 tables, seating outside. You know, we want to be able to have people come in. Um, 
enjoy our food and also we want to bring back things that the Amazing Grace did, like music and community events. So we're very happy about this next phase. It'll be very fun. They'd say we're all a bunch of food geeks, you know, yeah. which is which is awesome. I've surrounded myself with people who really care about food and care about each other and and so that's the that's the joyful part is is being able to work with all these people and No, you go ahead. Okay, well, <laughs> You pick the, the best piece. Here you go. And it's just a classic kielbasa with, with tons oh, of fresh garlic. Mm. It, it, it's very, very good. Mm -hmm. I'll have some too. Man, was that stuff tasty. Mm -hmm. yeah. Liver for the first time. Was it you? Yeah, both had... uh, yeah I never had it. I've yeah. never had have liver you? before this I've, moment. I have had liver before, but my gosh, that was some of the best liver I've ever had. And it was salmon so good. belly, too. Oh, oh man. Gosh. That was sweet, and it was like tasty, and it was you could tell how fresh it was. Yeah. You know? yeah. Juicy, too. Juicy. I mean, my goodness. So, yeah, they do have the new cookbook that's out. I believe we're going to gift it to uh, Mr. Adam Lorch, yes. because he's the big smoker. So there's yeah. all sorts of tips in there about how to smoke everything. Uh, I believe you can go buy it at their store down here in Canal Park. Also, just a beautiful new space in mm -hmm. there, too. It really is. They said they were excited about making it more of a community feel. Because uh, if you had been to the restaurant before, you know, they didn't have a ton of space to, like, sit down and enjoy the sandwich yeah. together. If it was a nice day, they had some nice tables outside. That was yes. perfect. Uh, but now, so many tables to sit inside. They were talking about hopefully maybe bringing uh, music oh in to that space, too. So, uh, very cool. A very nice uh, tradition in the canal park area. Yeah. Maybe a little uh, birthday lunch later on today, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> Hunter signing Ryan up for all the birthdays. <laughs> you get lunch? Yeah. Hunter's you get like, uh, birthday uh, on your credit card? <laughs> Yeah. I was like, maybe even Todd's credit uh, card. Uh, <laughs> what? Todd, Todd, Todd where are you at? Maybe call upstairs. Uh, <laughs> but I used to work in the DeWitt Sites building for a little bit, and my goodness, it was uh, dangerous how oh. close you were to uh, the Northern Water Smokehouse because you'd want that, uh, what was it called, the Cajun Fin yes. sandwich all the time. And like he was saying a little bit, Eric was saying, Eric was saying a little bit, that uh, they ha they ship hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of boxes every year during the holiday season. Mm -hmm. They're loading up trucks with smoked fish going out around yeah. the country. We've shipped some to my brother in California before because it's it's just a, such a special treat, you know, yeah. to share with your loved ones around the holidays. And we do that quite a bit um, at my house too. We go and get a nice smoked salmon and have a little appetizer. <laughs> Is that your brother's favorite treat for yeah. the most part? One of them? Yeah, I'd say he, okay, he okay. enjoys the smoked salmon. He's a home. fine palate. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he does. Fine palate. Refined. <laughs> Every December, he's just waiting by the mailbox, doing yeah. the Hunter McCall. Yeah. Little, 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 all right, all right. When's it come? When's it come? Yeah. Waiting for that delivery person. <laughs> oh, hey, coming up, we have Natalie Hepner in the studio, the newest member of the morning team, sharing how she got here and what she's looking forward to. Welcome back. We have such a great group of co-workers here at the station, and we love celebrating new moves, promotions, moving all over the place all the time. <laughs> we sure do, and that includes our very own Natalie Heppner, who is now officially the co-anchor of Northern News Now today, joining Paul and Tony on the mornings. Natalie is here with us today to talk more about the big news. First so off, it is so exciting. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me here. It's been under a year, and she's done almost every single role here. She's been a reporter. You've been a photog. Uh, you've been a producer, producer, producer first, yep. and now an anchor. How does it feel? Yes, so exciting. I mean, it's so cool to go through all of those different jobs. You know, learn producer, learn, learn reporting, and be able to get to meet, you know, and be close to all of my coworkers too, because great support team. So, oh my gosh. Absolutely. So yes. tell us a little bit about yourself. Where'd you grow up? Yeah, I grew up in Prior Lake, Minnesota, and then I went to college at St. Thomas in the Twin Cities, and then I came here, yeah. Briggs' oh, alma mater? Briggs' alma mater. Yes, yes. I'm excited yes. to ask you a little bit more about your time at St. Thomas. <laughs> uh, but you went to St. Thomas, graduated, yes. and then that's when you ended up here. Yeah, so I did journalism in college and just loved it, thankfully. And then I did the student-led news organization that Briggs did. So yes. that's how I was able to meet Briggs. And I got to do some stuff with Briggs while I was still in college. Oh, so, so you met her before yeah. you yes. came here. Great, yes, mm -hmm. great role oh, models. I know. I, we were, Natalie and I on the phone talking about the job here. I'm like, you have to come. <laughs> to be the best. And Natalie is the best so we're yep. so glad oh, that you're here you. yeah. yeah i love being here yeah what what drew you to want to move to duluth other than the job here what about duluth yeah. do you well like? my family we came every summer that was our vacation spot we love duluth and i remember the first time i came and visited duluth i was like this doesn't feel 
like Minnesota. I felt like I was just in a different like state. <laughs> Weird. Like, yeah, it was, yeah. I just loved it. I loved the lake. I loved the history and I loved the boats. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I was in, you know, I was in college and talked to Briggs and I was like, well, Duluth would. And there you are. Yeah, there. College. Look at <laughs> college. College. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. And I was like, Duluth is such a great place to live and be able to work at a news station and tell, oh, <laughs> yeah, there she is again. <laughs> oh, tell, throwbacks. <laughs> little throwbacks. Tell the stories of the community that you live in. Because I love the, oh, and there's Canterbury. Yeah. I did oh, that too. That, that's so cool. So you got to meet like Paul <laughs> Allen and all those people down yes, there. Yes. Yeah. So and cool. I actually like never have been to a horse racetrack before I worked there. I was their media assistant for a summer. So I got to meet uh, horse trainers. I got to meet horses, oh my gosh. talk to horses, and talk to jockeys. So <laughs> Interview the horse. <laughs> yeah, what, what do you think of that win over there? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's really good. Thank actually. you, thank you. I've been practicing my horse. Um, Hunter and I both have experience on the morning uh, shift. We know it can be tough. Have you already adjusted, do you think, a little bit? A little bit. I've been going to bed around like seven. Okay. That's what I try to do. And it's a big like adjustment when other people are awake, you know, because yes. like you want to be awake. But I found it's really nice to be awake and off work when it's sunny out, right? And you mm -hmm. can go like, <laughs> when, you, yes. when you get off at like four or five, now it's dark. Yep. So, um, so true. But yeah, it's nice know. for sleeping, having the darkness, you know, like, cause in the it summertime is. that gets yeah. hard. I know, the... it'll be a challenge yes. when um, that was the day that I came and <laughs> Figured out I was coming to be a producer. <laughs> so many Lots cool memories <laughs> already. It's been less than a year. Know, a lot of photos. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, a year next excited. month. The oh age-old question. Everybody wants to know of morning anchors. What time do you set your alarm? 2.30. Oh I said 2. Gosh. I want at 2.30 and one at 2.40. Okay, that's smart. Yep. Just in case you missed the first one, which happens to everybody at some point. <laughs> of course, yeah. You got to set one right there. Yep. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for being here, Natalie. Thank so you. excited for you on this Yay. new adventure. So you can catch Natalie, Paul, Tony, and Mitchell Monday through Friday from 5 to 7 a.m. right here on Northern News Now. A very, very fun team for sure. Yep. So after the break, we're previewing tomorrow's exciting blindfold. Stick with us. Well, it's the moment we've all been waiting for here, folks. Coming up tomorrow, I get surprised with the chance to go to Briggs's alma mater, helping to deliver a few lessons at Miss Myers kindergarten class. You won't want to miss our dancing, our holiday crafts. Uh, it was just an awesome time with all those kids. It was a lot of fun. We even got a little, we'll give you a little sneak peek. We got Ooh. crafts from the kids. We got little drawings from them. So, so I'll pass nice. those around. I mean, we got like a nice. rainbow here. Oh. We got another <laughs> rainbow. Oh. Yeah. Um, meteorologist for Hunter. That's sweet. Mr. Yeah. Hunter and Briggs and all these. I these mean, are all look so at where's good. the camera? There it is. Little oh, rainbows yeah, from everybody. Gingerbread direction. people. Yeah, huh? We did. Uh, we did a special, as you'll see probably tomorrow. So we did a special cute. gingerbread dance to a YouTube song. And uh, let's just say, like, it felt like a gym class for a little bit. <laughs> it lasted like, I'm sure it was like two minutes, <laughs> yeah. but it felt like 15 minutes. I was sitting there doing the moves it and doing an all that. It was, it was like an hour long. Oh, my gosh. Well, and so we'll talk more about that yeah. tomorrow. Have you guys fired up that song since? You go uh, home, do a little it's kinder birthday. It's going to be number one on Spotify yeah. for me next year. I, I might require it from you two for my birthday today. It'll be a birthday gift. Yeah. Let you guys have to do that again. It's a funny dance. So thanks again for the cake, guys. Thanks again You're for the welcome. celebration. Happy birthday, And I wish man. you all a lovely day as well. Yeah. yeah. Yay. Absolutely. Happy birthday, Ryan. Yay. Right well, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Find some time to throw a line or just head outside to unwind. That's the life in the great north woods. Hike or bike, whatever you like. Get out in the day. Enjoy the night. Yeah, we got the life in the great north woods. Yeah, we got the life in the great north woods. Yeah, this is northern.